Hi everyone, my name's Bob Ack. I hope you're well. Thanks for tuning in. And um, don't forget, you can pause this at any time and give yourselves a bit more time to try things out. But let's get straight into it. Hello. What, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? No, you can't possibly do that here. I'm the health and safety officer for this field and I need to share something with you before you begin. Make sure that you have plenty of space around you to move and that you've cleared anything which could injure yourself out of the way. It's really important that you listen to and take responsibility for your own body. Please don't do anything which hurts or which feels a bit difficult in the space that you have. If you're on a slippery floor, like tiles or wood, take off your socks. And if you're on carpet, keep your socks on to protect your feet from carpet burns. Make sure that you've got some water handy and that your body feels ready to move. If you have any specific health conditions or medical issues, please check with your parent carer or your general practitioner before joining the class. Have fun, toodle pip, and enjoy yourselves. If you start by marching on the spot, we're going to take a warm up and just jogging on the spot. Excellent. Bring your knees up and bring your heels to the backside. And now I'd like you to just explore the space you're in. So see if you can run around a bit, changing the speeds. Maybe there's a corner of your room that you haven't explored, a corner of your space. Just keep it going, have a bit of a run around. Excellent. And if there's someone else there with you, give them a high five. Run around, can you give them a jumping high five? If not, send those Bluetooth high five through the space, excellent. And remember to work those smile muscles. So keep smiling, good. Keep running on the spot. And now, see if you can go as fast as you can. Oh, even faster, round in circles. And the other way. Good, excellent. Keep those heels up. And it's a few star jumps. Can you do a clap at the top? Good, now, give me some punches. Excellent, to the floor. Up towards the ceiling. Round and round, the other way. Good, keep it going. Excellent, and keep jogging on the spot. Very good. Good, can you give me a floppy dog? <laughs> you can put in sound effects if you want. <laughs> With a floppy dog. Good stuff. And give me a few kicks. Good work, team. If you want to put in sound effects, it's all good. And keep running. Excellent. Now, we're going to move into a couple of races. Before we do that, just give your wrists a roll one way. Try and keep your wrists glued together the whole time as you circle them. Fantastic. And then, so even when the backs of the hands are together, the wrists are still glued together. Not like that, but stuck together the whole time. Change directions. Excellent. And swing your arms side to side. And to make it a bit harder, see if you can come over the top. And do one arm, slow motion, like you're stuck in mud. And as fast as you can. And the other arm, slow. And fast. Good job. Now, we're gonna do some races. So, go to one side of your space and just do a few sprints. Come back again. You're going to do five times. Excellent. Now, you're going to go on one leg. You're going to hop to wherever you can and hop back again. It could be that you go around in circles. It could be that you touch your sofa and you come back to the wall, anything like that. Okay. You're going to go there and back on one foot. And then you're going to change legs. 
and come back on the other leg. Good job. This time, you take both feet together. And come back to where you started. Excellent. So this next one is a bit trickier. Put one foot in front, to the side, behind, side, front, side, behind, side, side, front, side, behind, side, side, behind, side. And the trick here is to look the direction you're traveling. So if I'm looking, if I'm wanting to go towards you, guys, I'm looking towards you guys. Okay. If I want to go back there, I look towards back. A couple more times. Excellent. We're going to go on all fours towards. So you might want to imagine that you're an animal. Brilliant. This time, you're going to go on all fours. We go backwards. Nice. And have a Have a go forward. Excellent. Let's take a little stretch. So, stretch to the side, reaching with the fingertips. Nice deep breath, ah, smiling, good, and stretch over the leg. Ah. And take a nice deep lunge. See if you can have that front knee directly over the bottom heel. Good, and see the back leg, stretch it out nice and straight. Good, nice deep breath here. And then come into your Spider-Man. Good. Now, let's see if we can stay as low as we can on our spider man Can you do it? No. And then go to the middle and just stay there like a sumo wrestler. Get nice and strong. Five seconds. And we go to the other side. Over the leg. Into a lunge. Knee directly over the heel, straightening the back leg as much as I can. Good. I'll tell you what, while we're here, let's see who can do the splits. Oh, can anyone manage the splits? Woo! Good stuff. And try the splits on the other side. Woo! Your face might get all screwed up. Oh. Good. Then back to that side. Just stretch over the leg. Stretch over the side. And then try this on my favourite one. Take your shoulders up towards your ears. Keep pressing. And shake everything out. Make sure that face is nice and the shaking out. Good. Should we do one more of those? Let's do a couple more of those. Shoulders up to your ears. Keep breathing up to your tiptoes. Breathe in. And breathe out. Shake it all out very vigorously. Last one. Breathing in. Hold it. Shake everything out. Great stuff. In braking, this is called position zero. So I'll show you to the sides. My heels are up, so have a little practice. And anything you want to do in that position, okay? So just for a few seconds, for five seconds, see if you can tip it back. You might need to use your hands. And we'll have a go at this squat position. So there's nothing wrong with this, but the technique we're gonna learn and we're gonna build on is up with your heels here. If you need to touch your hands down, touch your hands down. And it's called position zero, okay? This is, could be other positions that we can work on from here. Yeah, so just get used to this here. If you can hold it for 10 seconds, if you want to bounce around and move a little bit, if you want to try kicking out, kicking out. Yeah, but keep coming back to here for another five, four, three, two, one. Huh, are your legs exhausted yet? Give them a little shake off. Give them a little nice little rub. Be kind to our legs. Excellent, good stuff. Let's have a little drink of water. Right then, so now we're going to do a bit of conditioning. Can you remember what that is? That's right, it's getting nice and strong, working our bodies so that we can be nice and strong for all our dance moves, okay? So the conditioning moves I've got for you today are burpees, okay? Anyone remember a burpee? I'll show you from the side. You're squatting down, jumping the legs out, jumping them in and jumping up. That's a burpee. Let's do five of those. If you want to put a press-up into the bottom of it, you can put a press-up in as well. 
Okay, ready? Let's count out loud. Counting down from five in the squat. Ready? And five. Out. Up. Uh, four. Out. Up. Uh, uh, three. Out. In. Uh, two. Out. Uh, uh. Oh, one more. I forgot. Uh, Excellent job. There's your five burpees. Good. Now we're going to do a couple of press ups. That's exactly. So, press ups we're going to do. We're going to go as long as we possibly can on our bellies, okay? You want to go on your knees, go on your knees. Yes, yeah, so have your hands, try having your hands ahead of you. See if you can lifting off there. Let's try five of those. Five, four, three, two, one. If you think you can manage it with your knees off, let's give that a try. Oh. Woo. Not easy. Good work, everyone. Okay. Then, this time, I want you to see if you can take your arms as low as they'll go. Okay. Again, you can try it. Here, we put your knees down. Five, four, three, two, one. Then have a little stretch here. Nice deep breath. Push your shoulders down into your back. Keep smiling. And take your glutes, your backside, back to your heels. Have a nice little stretch. Three deep breaths here. Three deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One. Two. One more nice deep breath. Good. Roll up through your spine. Well, we're here. Okay, so we're going to link some of these moves together so that we've got a nice sequence. But within that sequence, there's going to be lots of opportunity for you to add and create your own flavour and your own moves within that. Okay, so we're going to start with the top rock where you step one foot in front of the other. Okay, you might be familiar with this. I'm going to turn around so you can see it from the other way. Keep it going. Excellent. You can imagine you've got a nice new belt that you're showing off, so show off your belt. Or you can imagine you're a puppet. Okay? With strings. Or you can block yourself. Imagine you're having some kind of fight or someone's attacking you and you're blocking. Or you can go as fast as you like, as big as you like, and then you can go slow motion. Excellent. And so this move is called top rock because we're on the top, we're not on the bottom, and we're rocking our body. Good, so have another little practice. Enjoy the top rock, get used to the top rock. See if you can add your own flavor. Bit of bounce. Great job. Then, we need to move down to the floor. You're going to cross one leg over the other, doesn't matter which, and spin down towards the floor to get to position zero that we've been practicing. Yeah, so I'll show you that from the back. Doesn't matter which leg you cross over, jump your legs across, spin down to the floor, and now you're in position zero with your heels off. From here, any of the different things, movements we've been doing, it's going to apply to you. So you could do little kick ups jump outs, you can do some of the different walks we've done, yeah. you can do a little spin, but it's up to you, okay, see if you can travel a little bit and then think about your position zero, okay, so you're going to travel for a bit and then we're going to finish with freezes. I'm going to demonstrate three different freezes on three different levels you can use the ones I've demonstrated, or even better, you can create your own, okay? So, if you lie down to one side, with your legs on top of each other, bring the bottom leg in front of you, and bring the top leg behind you. I'll demonstrate again, facing the direction. Take your heel to your knee, flex that foot, so you should have a hole here. Flex the other foot, grab your ankle, and you're in a position called figure four freeze okay i'll show you that to the back so i'm here i'm on here 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 excellent i'd really love to see some of your figure four freezes your freezes if you want to take a picture and send them in please do okay good 
So that's a nice easy low freeze. Another example of a nice easy low freeze is to bring your hips up, bring one foot up. There you go. Or we can have like a sumo freeze we had earlier. Might be nice on a mid level. Put your hand in. You could add a Spider Man to that. Excellent. Or even higher still. Here. Yeah, you might imagine that you're a model. It's entirely up to you. So those are three different levels. See if you can come up with your own examples. Have a practice of the ones I've given you. Brilliant. Just to recap those freezes, you had the figure four freeze. You had the sumo freeze. And you had something higher. Excellent. So now let's put all of that together. We're going to start with some top rock. Any variation you want. Try and get creative. What can you do with your arms? What can you do with your face? Look, I'm going to show you a screw face. Some people like to be serious with their faces. You might be more happy with it. Woo! You might be blocking. You might be a puppet. You might be a dog. Okay, cross your legs. Come down to zero position. Here, moving around the floor anywhere you want. Using this position, find something that feels good. And then three freezes, three different levels on the floor. One, up to sumo. Two, up to standing. Three. Good work, guys. We're gonna finish with a nice little cool down. So roll your shoulders back. Roll them forwards. Take both arms, breathe in, take your hands up towards the sky. Hammering them out. And take them up again. Breathe in. Hammering them out. Hammering up. Hammering out. I'll give everything myself shape. And walk your hands forward on the ground. Get your hips forward. Ah. Take a nice deep breath. Swivel around so you can see me. And take your backside forward to your heels. Three nice deep breaths. Two, one more. And three, good. Hop back onto your legs. See if you can roll up through the spine. Stacking the vertebra one at a time. Good, take one arm up towards the ceiling. Take your hand to your back and give yourself a big pat on the back and give me a high five. And anyone else that's around you, give them a high five. And if you can, give them a wave. And next time I see you, we'll work a bit more on that wave. Thanks everyone, stay safe, wash your hands.